Oh, funny stories. It's the player profile pet. <laughs> so what? Uh, that was awesome. It, it's, uh, it's profile time. Note, gentlemen, I say profile and not player profile. Are you doing this in the style of Shakespeare? You're going to do Bobby Robson, aren't you? I'm not going to do Bobby Robson. It's not a player. Well, it's a Paul Newman. It's a man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a man who um, has contributed to the world of football greatly, ladies and gentlemen. Today's profile, and we've talked about this man enough times. He deserves to be in here. Is Barry George Davis? Barry Davis. <laughs> <laughs> MBE. <laughs> this is going to be shit. <laughs> What's his goals ratio? <laughs> That's what they listen for. This goes at the end of the show. They're just going to switch it off. Boom. <laughs> 24th of October, 1940. He's done well there. He's, in won, London. The, he's won the sperm race. He's won, yeah. In 1940, so he's won World War Two. Yeah. Finished that when he was fine. He's lived through that. Finished that, he was fine. He's one of the BBC's longest serving football commentators. Right. He's, he's Barry Davis. Known for his football commentary, he's also um, commentated on other sports, including volleyball, volleyball, ice skating, tennis, gymnastics, hockey. He's done hockey, yeah. Athletics. He had hockey in the Olympics. Also sure. the voice of the boat race. Um, he was educated at Cranbrook School, Kent. Um, you were effectively on a profile of just a bloke. Yeah. <laughs> this is Barry Davis. All right, all right. I like Barry Davis. Don't, don't get me wrong, but... What's he won? No. don't care what he's won. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know the rules. You know the rules. <laughs> Did you know he, was in the, he started his, his career with the British forces? In his broadcast As a commentator. Movement. That's right, yeah. I didn't know in that, West, Mark, In West, West Germany. I thought he was in war. Oh, his head's come off. <laughs> Clean off. <laughs> exactly. 35 years he was commentating on Match of the Day. And he's, it came to an end on the 25th of September, 2004. Man City versus Arsenal. And the reason for retiring was because he felt that he was not getting big enough matches and he was being downgraded. It's an absolute crime. Mm. It is an absolute crime. It's great. And Mots are still going. Mots are still knocking about. Did you see Jonathan Pierce compared um, Olaf and Jaya, is that his name? Uh, he Olaf and Jana. Olaf yeah. and Jana, yeah. He compared his goal to the Hadron Collider. <laughs> <laughs> this week in physics, they tried to recreate the Big Bang, and that is the Big Bang. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> yeah, um, he's leaking helium all over the... <laughs> <laughs> But that goal was just above absolute zero. <laughs> 293 Kelvin. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was often overlooked for the big foul. He only ever covered... Now, I think he's been in the game. He matched their commentator for 35 years. He only ever commentated on two FA Cup finals in his career. Why? Motson always used to get them. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Motson used to be all right. Yeah. However, okay. however, there's no animosity between the, between the two. In uh, his autobiography... Which, is, once again, is my... Would that be like the most week. rubbish fight ever? Motson versus Barry Davis? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, they talk a good game, but... Um, in his autobiography, which is called Interesting, Very Interesting, um, he says there's no... Uh, you making this up? Them. It's true, it's just the name of Because it's a, one of his famous little... Uh, you're not any more quotes. popular if he maybe come up with a better catch. <laughs> 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 interesting, <laughs> very interesting. You're not a Bond villain. <laughs> <laughs> he probably put his name down, though, to be Yeah, he was Stan Collymore, yeah. <laughs> He continues his work for the BBC on a freelance basis. He, he does Winter Olympics, uh, Commonwealth Games, and of course he did a little bit in the Olympics, didn't he? This, yeah, he uh, did hockey. In, in, in did China. hockey. I think he might have done diving as well. Um, I've got some uh, memorable quotes here. Oh, okay, from, fair enough. Yeah, from the big man. This is uh, after a refereeing decision effectively cost Leeds United the League Championship in 1971. You might have seen this on old clips. And Leeds will go mad. And they have every right to go mad. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that? One? I like. Is anyone that did um, the? Uh, Look at his face! Yeah, that's, Just uh, look at his face! Manny Lee. Yeah. That was it, yeah. You did um, quite a good impression of Davis, so feel free to carry on. Look at his face. Just look at his face. Oh, so that was Loungeberry Davis. <laughs> um, yeah, and the Diego Maradona's second goal against England in 1986, yeah. when he does the whole team. You have to say that's magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a good one. This is actually... I'll pluck this out of... Um, it was the... You know, and... I expect a little bit of uh, criticism here. This is uh, the 1988 Olympic hockey final against Germany. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. It's good. Where were the Germans? And quite frankly, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> but like, even, but even, even when he doesn't say anything particularly profound or anything and states the, the blooming obvious, it still sounds good. Like when, when Pat Bonner let in that howler against uh, Holland in the 94 World Cup. Yeah. Just the way it dropped in the net. Oh, Pat Bonner. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just... It, it's... Yeah, M M Motson commentating on that. we like, oh, oh, it's oh, where are my shoes? <laughs> <laughs> it appears to have gone in. 
Yeah. Oh, when Gascoigne scored that free kick against Arsenal in the 91 FA Cup final, is Gascoigne going to have a crack? Here's your name. Oh, I say that's brilliant. That is, that's boy's own stuff. Yeah, yeah, they went yeah. on to say all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. And then, of course, you've got my favourite piece of commentary ever when Burkamp scored against Argentina. Beautifully bothered out by Burkamp. Oh, yeah. Oh, he just goes absolutely, yeah, yeah. He goes absolutely <laughs> mental, isn't he? Yeah. But this is, this is a great one. Um, in 2002 World Cup, after Italy got knocked out um, by the South Koreans, they were trying to obviously defend a one-goal lead, and uh, South Korea turned it round. Italy lost because they will not learn. <laughs> <laughs> Headmaster? <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's almost dear. like you're going to punish them afterwards for that. <laughs> yeah. right, I'll tell you who my least favourite commentator is while we're on this. You know that bloke on Eurosport... That takes ages. Stato, that's Stato. Anything? No, no it's not surely him. not. It it's sounds Stato. Like, it sounds like his dialogue's written by Harold Pinter. That is Stato <laughs> from fancy football. That is. No way. It is. No. I promise what you. The guy who commentates on all the Dutch football and stuff like that. Oh, no, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. He's, he's Euro sport commentator. Euro. Sport. Sport. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> I mean, they do that thing on Eurosport as well, where they 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 do old games, but they do the commentary as if it's live. Yeah. And they talk about what's about to happen as if it's live. <laughs> <laughs> before we, before we go on, um, Barry Davis, he's in the Dean Windass Hall of Fame round of applause. Yeah, sorry, yeah, Barry Davis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Barry Davis. Brilliant. I know he's not a footballer, but I feel he deserves to be in there. 